only have two laps of fuel remaining. Now let's build on it. damage to the front wing. Be easy on the car till we get it repaired. We don't want to risk making this worse. Our gap behind is 2.2 seconds. Now. 
Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Julian, still closing though, despite being on those ultras, isn't he, Alex? Not interested in hanging around. He's going to get a second bite at this. 50 second gap to OTG. As I said earlier on, when he was chasing him down, and he can afford to chase him as long as he doesn't start wiping wheels off the car. But he's pushing very, very hard as Julian. He's desperate for this. He's pushing like crazy. Already 1.8. How is he doing that so quickly? Looney must have a serious confidence issue or problem. Yeah, Julian's he's, he's 0.8 under his fuel target, so he's he's definitely gonna have to lean at some point as he just glances the barrier out of his hand of up. No issues though, no damage. And uh there was a 1.17.8 from Looney on that last lap. Julian must have done around a 1 minute 12 mark, I would have thought. So five seconds roughly taken out of him. OTG needs to move aside. Oh, what is going on there? What is going on there? That's extreme lag. I presume oh, you've got that same. As well. Oh, my goodness. Well, can you blame him for that? Or do you go down to lag? What do you think? He's waiting on him. Julian's going to wait on him. I suppose that's the most sporting thing to do. It looked, I'll give Julian the benefit of the doubt there. That looked like crazy, crazy lag between him and OTG. And he lets Looney go, and uh, Looney's got no further damage than what he had. Yep, look, there's a lot of lag, and Looney's going to let him go out back through, I think. Yeah, he does. Looney knows he's not going to win that battle. He, the, the pace difference is so much. Julian back up into the podium places, back into third place, and that will be the best it will get, unless someone makes a massive error out in front. The gap's three and a half seconds, so you would think he would admit defeat. And he goes yeah, into yeah. the pits, he, he comes, and yeah. Uh, that's not at all worked out well for Julian. Could have been a second place today. Too many errors, and he's now having to come into the pits for a brand new front wing on the number 29 Red Bull. For a fifth time, he's been in the pits. Back down the pits comes Looney, and this one might go to Julian. If it doesn't go to him on the racetrack, it will certainly go to him when time penalties are factored in. I think it will go to him on the racetrack, though. Yeah, he does. Julian moves back up into that third position, and he again looks to be on course despite his five stop strategy to take home the third place.